Globally, wheat is the most important food crop. More than 4.5 billion people worldwide depend on wheat. Forecasters suggest that demand for wheat could soar by as much as 60% by the middle of this century. The ability of the world's farmers to meet current and future demand for wheat is threatened by many factors. Climate change, drought, urbanization. Some of the biggest challenges farmers face are fungal diseases, especially the highly virulent populations of stem rust that were identified in East Africa in 1998. These super strains of stem rust may threaten as much as 90% of the wheat planted around the globe. Spores of the new races of stem rust have been identified from East Africa all the way to the southernmost countries of the continent. The pathogen has also moved north and east. In 2006, it made an alarming jump across the Arabian Strait to Yemen, and subsequently as far north as Iran. UG99 is thus not only moving across Africa and into the Middle East, but is evolving through mutations, establishing an entire family of UG99 type pathogens. In its path are the bread baskets of South Asia and China. The food security of hundreds of millions of people is at risk. We've seen um, a drop-off in funding for agricultural research. And with that drop-off, I think the world took their eye off the ball of keeping an eye on what was happening with rust diseases, keeping an eye on how they were changing and evolving in East Africa. Um, and as a result, the world is now very vulnerable to, to these diseases. And that, that's going to require investment to, to, to change that situation so that wheat farmers are protected um, in a way that's reliable and that's environmentally friendly. The DRRW is working first and foremost to develop resistant varieties that will meet the needs of farmers and then uh, to move the seed to the farmers. Scientists work with national program partners and smallholder farmers to monitor the incidence and movement of this dangerous pathogen. At the same time, breeders develop durably rust-resistant varieties to replace susceptible varieties in farmers' fields. Project partners strive to understand the needs of smallholder farmers, particularly the needs of women farmers who hold the keys to food secure homes. Armed with knowledge about rust and new resistant varieties, farmers around the world are replacing their susceptible wheat with varieties that will improve livelihoods and better protect the world's wheat crop. This project delivers benefits to smallholder farmers who are threatened by rust diseases of wheat. And so the most important target are going to be the 50 million smallholder families who live in South Asia, particularly in the Ingo Gangetic Plains. And also there are more than a million families in Ethiopia who rely on wheat for their livelihoods. <laughs> Sometimes you got uh, 2.6 ton per hectare. Last year, because of yellow rust, she didn't get anything. The last year, 2010, we had a yellow rust epidemic and the farmers have suffered. It's only farmers that grew DRRW varieties that really didn't suffer losses. That community today has really changed a lot. They formed cooperatives, they are trying to produce their own seed. I have seen progress. Farmers face a real problem in not being aware of the uh, damage that rust can do. For instance, in South Asia and Central Asia, uh, they're, they're a generation of farmers who have never seen rust. Farmers generally are not aware that they could lose their entire crop to uh, stem rust. My grandfather came over here in 1947. Right from 1947, 
we started growing wheat on these farms. Now I'm taking care of the, these farms and we are growing wheat. Wheat rust, as I heard from uh, BGRI team, I am highly concerned about that. We never knew about it as it was not in our fields. But soon after I came to know about that such a rust can spoil the wheat and it has already spoiled it in different parts of the world. I feel worried about it. The crops of the farmers are like his children. So as we see them growing every day, we really feel happy. And if our crops are sick, we feel that our children are sick. We were not very particular about wheat varieties. We used to sow any variety. We'll grow only those varieties which are not prone to wheat rust. That will help us in a long way. Wheat is a major, a major crop in North India. And North India is more or less an agriculture-centric uh, state. We are always concerned about productivity. This time the wheat has been a bumper crop and as well as very healthy crop. And we have sold every grain of my wheat. Everything has been very, very favorable. Luckily this year we were free from all kinds of diseases including uh, wheat rust. And we pray to the God that every year we get such good crop and such good harvest and we get such good prices also. A wheat producer has a large responsibility of feeding a very large, largely populated country. If we don't have wheat for one year, it might lead to starvation in certain parts of the country. Definitely a low yield any year will be a havoc for Indian farmer and then ultimately it will be unfortunately for whole of the nation. The DRRW project has seen great progress in reducing the world's vulnerability to rust diseases of wheat. More than 35,000 tons of rust-resistant wheat seed have been made available for planting in eight at-risk countries and more than 28 plant genes have been identified as sources of resistance to the family of UG99 stem rust. There are now 22 promising UG99 resistant varieties developed by the BGRI community being grown in eight immediately at-risk countries. Some of the resistant cultivars that have been developed are vulnerable to future changes that may occur within the UG99 lineage, but have been deployed for short-term mitigation. Already, these cultivars are being replaced by new ones that are not only resistant to UG99, but should remain so for many years. There are 10 varieties of wheat with resistance based on multiple minor genes. These resistant varieties are increasingly popular with farmers and follow the BGRI's guidelines for responsible gene stewardship because they do not depend on single deployed major genes. Despite these successes, the security of global wheat production remains under threat as new virulent races of rust diseases continue to emerge and spread. Ongoing research and development is needed to ensure a food secure future for wheat growing regions across the world. We're investing in ways to increase the sustainable productivity of small farmers. They are the engines of, of economic growth and prosperity for themselves and, and, and for their countries. And we'd like to work you know, together with, with other investors, with other donors, um, so that we can together develop long-term solutions um, to, to deliver wheat that, that is protected for the farmers who need it all around the world.